Everywhere we go, you got to worry. Everywhere you go, you got to turn your head. Aaron Chirez's best friend became a Dallas statistic in June. 98th murder. By December, we'd reached 200 plus. I just want whoever that did it to get caught. They need to go to jail. More than 200 murders means more than 200 families suffered agonizing loss. When is it going to stop? When are people going to stop? The Dallas mayor ordered the police chief to present a crime fighting plan by January. Her plan could be based on a strategy known as Operation Ceasefire. Criminologists say it works. I think 2020 will be different. They say research proves a tiny percentage of any city's population is responsible for about half of that city's homicides. So in our research that we've done, a lot of these kids don't think they're going to live to 35 years old. So how do you get them to reorient their lives if they don't think I'm going to live to 30? How, how do we get them to, to, to change that? <laughs> Operation Ceasefire's answer is to put members of gangs or kids at risk of joining them face to face with grieving families. You show them the pain they caused and show them other ways to live. Then you warn them if a fellow gang member commits a crime, they're all going to jail. Some cities have cut their homicide rates in half. The data are, are convincing on this, and, and, and it's not just one study in one city, it's, it's a dozen studies in a dozen different cities. If 2019 was the year of guns and grief. Love each other, please. Perhaps 2020 will bring transformation and a truce. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard.